Yo, yo, yo. What is happening? I'm going to put on some background music. Why not? Hi, and welcome to the Collectible Show. I'm your host, Idris. Stretches around. He's still doing prep, though, because that's, that's what I'm I here. Work with. No, no, I said it. I said it now. I said it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm feeling much better, too. Oh my god. Last week, I don't know if you noticed, we were just trying to sort of get through it. Um, because both Jicker and I, we're, uh, we're feeling like ass. Hey, hey, what happened? Right. I thought I had my video paused, but I didn't. God damn it. Bloody technical issues already. Oh, Stretch, what's been happening with you? Everything good? Yeah, you know, I woke up every day this week, so I'm doing pretty good. That's it. I... Oh, work has been... Um, I think most people have probably seen me or uh, <laughs> seen the text <laughs> during the week of me whinging like I do. I've been whinging very and... hard. It's been fun. And nobody had a clue what the fuck you were talking about either. No, no. People don't seem to know what tenders are. Um, no, I have no clue what that is. <laughs> yeah, so tenders are like... Uh, it's like a contract, I guess. So, uh -huh. say there's a whole bunch of work that is to okay. be done annually, and it's a contract for 60 years, or something like that. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, so, a whole bunch of companies come together, and they put in their submissions, and there was, a whole, like, 28 of those, and then um, it got down to seven people from that, or seven companies from that. And Jeez. now we've got to put in all our pricing and everything like that. Then it goes to a board as part of the tender. And then the board chooses which one they want. Now, I've won it, or the company has won it three times before. But this time, it's every other person th that I went, that I saw in the mandatory meeting that I had to attend. Uh, mm. where, like, yeah, companies with a lot more people. And mine, like hundreds of employees, <laughs> at least a hundred. So, yeah, the big business is starting to starting to move into where I the industry that I work in. Yeah. You know. Oh fuck. But oh, I get to work at a brothel on Monday though. So, going back to the yeah, brothel. you get to see vagina again. Yeah, yeah. Be the second time in real life. But no, I don't think they're working. <laughs> I don't think they're working Monday morning. That's so why going there then. <laughs> So yes, no, no <laughs> vagina for me. Anyway, yeah. we're here. We're not here to talk about work. We're here to talk no. about collectibles. Oh. <laughs> we're here to talk about collectible vaginas. So yeah. old dildos, vibrators, specially used <laughs> the ones that you find in the back alley, antique stores. Uh, no, we're here to talk about toys. Now, when I uh, thought, okay, we'll do toys as an episode, um, I've got shit tons of stuff, and I do have a lot of uh, action figures, like DC and Marvel stuff. So I thought, this is probably something that we're going to have to come back to. Uh, and some right. people said that they had stuff to show, but they couldn't make it tonight, all of that, blah, blah, blah. So, I thought, okay, I'm just going to show old toys and look at that sort of thing. It doesn't really matter. If people want to come on for the second half of the show, uh, then feel free to jump in the waiting room. Yeah. We will pull you in, and you can show us some pics, or we can just even pull up stuff on Google Image Search of toys that you used to play with or that you still autistically collect because you're a retard. Um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, we were going to start with, uh, Stretch's stuff. So, Stretch, what have you got for show and tell today? <laughs> oh, shit, just, uh, just some, the, the thing I played with most, I think, just Hot Wheels cars as a kid. Uh, I've always really liked cars. Even when I played video games, I'd only play racing games, but, uh, just, just some, just some quick fucking shit, just some goofy shit that I got. Nothing special. There's some stuff in there that's old of my dad's that like had it. He treated his shit like I treated my shit. I the the cars would be worth uh, a, a lot of money still out of the package, but they're all, all right. beat to shit. So let's pull up. 
pull it all up so we can have a look through. Let's see what you... Um, you hopefully... pull them up in order? Uh, hopefully it would have been... Um, it's the order that I, they got saved in, so... If you gotcha. want me to do that order, order. No, it doesn't. It, I'll just wait till I see that. Okay, that on screen. You see, I, there's just a couple things there. The, the you have a first edition. You have the treasure hunt, which is the like, uh, like, really low production of, and uh, it's something people would like. Uh, you know, get to the store. You know, target for as soon as it opens to try to check. You know, their stock from when like people know the shipments are coming in for Hot Wheels cars. It's retarded, but they get a uh, like a. An actual rubber wheel you can see that the tires are like real tires on the car it gets a better paint job it, it's made it's like a nicer car mm. uh, so there's a couple versions of it there you have the the treasure hunt version you have the first edition version the purple one out of the package is another first edition that has been opened and then the the little gray one next to it is just a random one that shares the same body style oh, okay now I'm getting you now yep all right yeah, so it's all the showing... same car but you've got right. the treasure hunt edition. That one then. Ah, I've got you. Yes. Yeah. So you can kind of see the different levels of editions. it. Yeah, yeah. And so, which one would be the most valuable? The treasure hunt. The treasure, the treasure hunts are hunt. always the the most. They don't do treasure hunts anymore, and they mm. did. They haven't done it the entire time Hot Wheels has existed, but it was a thing for a long time. Yeah, that's cool. And the the if you're if you're a serious Hot Wheels collector, you have a bunch of treasure hunts. Like you can't be a serious collector without having those. Uh Dr. So. Yoshi used to have them as well, but he didn't have a box. Yeah, I always pulled stuff out of the box unless it was like Me too. Uh Comic Con exclusives and stuff. Um I know I've got a few of those. Like I got a flashpoint reverse flash that's still in the box. A Clementine from The Walking Dead, that's an exclusive, but there's so many of those that, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Yeah. Let's keep going. Oh, this same same thing, just closer up. Oh, yeah, you can, yeah, see, the, so you can see the wheels on this one, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. We'll have to look up. Um, once we've gone through the photos, we'll have a look up. Um, so you can see it's, a, worth. it's not plastic, it's rubber. Yeah, yeah. That's just a oh so okay so these are the cars that like that's out of the box. There's a picture of the box. It's funny because it's got a no rules sticker on it, and <laughs> which was like a uh, a thing from my childhood. Like, I don't know if anybody remembers the no rules stickers and shirts and the no fear shit. But uh, that's the that's the box of cars that I would like take to you know friends' houses and and take places with me. That was like my primary set of cars. And if you look at them, they're not smashed up. I didn't smash my shit. <laughs> we were poor, so I didn't want to tear my cars up because didn't get them very often. Do you want to guess what so I smashed with a rock? Like, for a full hour with my friend? What, that airplane one? No, no. Uh, an original Darth Vader with a cape with the lightsaber oh, no. in the arm. You know, where it expands out of the arm. Which I then found out in the top ten list on YouTube was number one as most valuable toy that you want to keep in a case. <laughs> I fucking <laughs> smashed him up. Yeah, I still got him. He's, he's like got rock dents all over him. Um, no cape. And the lightsaber got ripped out that day as well. I think I set him on fire. I can't remember. <laughs> Whoops. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I know, because in the package... Uh, like, out of the pack, it's not worth much anyway. But in the pack, I think they were up to like 10 grand or something for the Darth... That series Holy of the shit. Darth Vader... It depends it, on the Darth Vader, so, but the ones with the lightsaber that retract into the arm, like I had, mm -hmm. that Grandma bought me, yeah, yeah very um, valuable. I'm looking at this car. What is this? Which one? Uh, I've been zoomed in on it for a while. You probably it's the one with the, the yellow oh. fan or something. It's a it's like a biplane with no wheels or no wings and wheels instead. Ah. That's a propeller on the front. It's an airplane. Yeah, just yeah. has wheels instead of wings. Yeah. Oh, there's one with the Hot Wheels logo. Uh, it's like a Lamborghini or something. I don't know cars very well, so. Yeah. I'm there, I, I had a I'm few of those, but I was more into the, uh, like most of the shit. I have a bunch of shit that's not in boxes, and it would be annoying to, or that's still in boxes. It would be annoying to try to take pictures of, but uh, mm -hmm. 
I'm more into like American muscle cars and trucks than like the like supercars and shit like that. So that's my collection reflects that. Mm. So there's yeah. there's a little bit, of that, but most of what you'll see is the other shit. But yeah. Ah, it's not letting me go on to the next one. Oh hell! Damn it! And is that tray because they perfectly fit each car? Is that tray actually specifically for collecting Hot Toys cars? Yeah, there it's a Hot know. Wheels. It's a Hot. There's a picture of of the case in that list of picks there. Ah, now uh, you'll see up. it. Now, as soon as I open up a new picture, then it gave me the option to go. Yeah, next. there you go. Okay, so this is that's a Thunderbird that I tried to do my own custom paint job on with nail polish. I yeah, still have very it. Very nice. I did Got paint all it was, the wheels. I can't remember what color it is, but I did the silver and the red. <laughs> <laughs> look at that what ah oh, so neat yeah dude look at that line work <laughs> <laughs> it got on the windscreen too it looks like it's been raining like it looks like the windscreen actually so to swipe that up awesome yeah. oh, it's since funny. i zoomed in it's not gonna let me go next again the, the other picks in that crate there's some of that same car that's not painted by me Ah, uh, so there's all my Corvettes. Yeah, they had to cool. had to have all my Corvettes. They're always very glittery, aren't they? Some of them. Some of them. Like I said, I didn't I didn't bang the shit. I had cars that I ran on the tracks and did stuff with, but most of my other ones I took tried to take good care of them. Mm. So you're saying that your dad he... helped you collect was collecting them as as well. Well, he had, like, all the tracks that I had as a kid were his tracks from when he was a kid. Like, they literally had peace and love and peace signs and shit written all over. My dad grew up in the 60s, 70s, so they <laughs> yeah, had yeah. all that shit on. So I had all his old tracks and loops and shit. And I had a, you know, it was, it wasn't shit for, I think you could get two cars for a dollar back when I was a kid. So when my dad would get paid and would go to the grocery store or something, they'd usually buy me a car. So that's kind of how I ended up with most of them. And as you I do... got older and started getting money, I'd buy my own. Yeah, you do remember that this is the exact same story you gave when we were doing the trading cards as well. So, oh, my dad no, was really yeah. into it. He took me down the store. And I have, to, I, dude. I no, for real. That's that. That's how me and my dad did shit. I like yeah, bought yeah. those cars when we did the X Men shit. I have pictures of me as a kid sitting there with my dad, just like stacking the cards up and shit. Look at this one. It, that's how I got into every uh, any kind of collecting. I got into coin collecting from his dad. It's just that's how oh, they bonded okay. with me. Yeah, guess, yeah. No, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Just that's how. I, that's the only time they would buy me cards is when he got paid. That's the only time they buy me cards <laughs> when he got paid. Mm. But yeah, I like cars. Oh, I guess the carry cases. Yeah. Yeah, that's the that's the one that we've been looking at. That you can see the that that clear one's just got some random shit in it, mm. uh, like tr trucks and stuff that doesn't fit in there. But you see my no rule sticker. Fucking. <laughs> so yeah, what? it's actual hot hot was case. Cigars complaining. I said to um, what I said you guys should stream longer. <laughs> <laughs> and say whatever you want. And they're not in the VC. Oh, I can say whatever I want about them. Hey, suit. Total what's up, lies. Suit? So there's that that's that wheel right there. That's my dad's case from when mm. he was a kid. That's um, pretty cool. Yeah, it's a little wheel, mm. and uh, I keep them all. I have a, a bunch of Matchbox cars too that were my stepdad's, but I don't have any of those pics in here. But I I keep everything separate. You know what I mean? Did you stuff have my kids? Stuff that I bought as adult. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, I got micro machines. I fucking love micro machines, dude. Those are the coolest <laughs> fucking things. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I actually micro have machines have a, I have some Dale Earnhardt micro machines, as a matter of fact, still, that are still in the box. There you go. Uh, you know, suit, micro machines are awesome. Suit, I think he has got his new computer, and he's making his comeback right now at the moment. He's about, I think he released a video the other day. I see people asking. Yeah, you did. So this is inside the carry case. Let's zoom in. Look at my zooming skills now. 
I know how to controls control wheel. Yeah, try to show that little deal there at the top. Just like the uh I'm not really sure what the fuck that's supposed to I don't know, just some sixties ass shit, I don't know. Or seventies. Whatever the fuck this is from. Oh, and his cars. Look at this one. You can't talk to your passenger, though, if you're in that car. It's like two cars trying <laughs> to go. <laughs> See, did I drop? Oh, I tell you what. Every fucking time I go do a live, live stream on YouTube, I start getting all these texts. <laughs> oh, internet's going to be cut out for maintenance. Well, luckily it's not today. Okay, let's keep going. Yes, yeah, so I can't. I'll, I have a sum that oh, I pulled that, out. That showed. Up. Oh wow! Yeah, those are funny cars. That's Snake and Mongoose. They were really, really popular race cars in the in the late '60s, '70s. And those two cars there, if you have those still in the package, like in pristine condition, they're worth a uh, like a ton. Yeah, yeah. We should look some of these up. Um, I but... sent you resources for that. Oh yeah, you did. You did too. Okay. We'll have a look at this, and then we'll we'll have a look into that. Oh wow, it's the light and the doors open on the is on some of these. I remember some of them would, some of them wouldn't, and you could open not on uh, not any of the ones that I had, but yes, on some of them you could. Hmm. Just you can just really see how beat to shit his cars are. Yeah, yeah. Okay, make sure I don't close that folder. So, but the. My favorite one is the paddy wagon, which is the next one. Wait a minute. Paddy wagon? I don't have yeah. that. Oh! Uh, there we go. This one I didn't open up. Open link. Um, gonna have to copy the image address. God damn you, Stretch. Sorry. <laughs> I had it all ready, but no, I didn't. I have to get rid of all And then, uh, for the paddy wagon, I'll show you one. And then there's a link in stream submissions as well for a paddy wagon that's for sale on eBay. Oh, okay. Oh. There we go. I got it on screen. Fine. Okay, yeah, there's the paddy wagon. All right, so let's have a look at. Let's look at the paddy wagon first. Uh, using the wrong web browser as default. Don't you hate it when that happens? And the little back part off the wagon is removable as well, which is kind of cool for an old one. Mm. It's made of metal. Okay, so here it is. Here, nineteen seventy-three paddy wagon. Three hundred and forty-nine dollars. I'm guessing yep. that's U.S. Yes, and and for it's not in the package. That's an open paddy wagon. If you had one in the package, I could imagine it's probably close to double at least. Yeah, yeah. That's just me assuming, but it's it. I I would assume it'd be worth a lot more. Oh, there's one down here. It's only twenty, but then it doesn't look like it's. You know, you look at the windscreen, it looks a bit beat up compared. Yeah, it's hard to tell. And his other stuff, three hundred dollars. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them, but yeah, they're definitely not. They all have yeah. a bit of scuff, or a bit shit. Hmm. All right, let's have a look at your other link, though. Ah, oh, so this is for Snake and Mongoose. This one. Yeah. The this is kind of show them in the package. They did a uh, a red line series. That's what these old ones are called. You look at the wheels; it has a red line around the tires, kind of like how old tires used to. Mm -hmm. uh, and they they re like redid them, so they made these old thick metal cars to make them look like the cars from the '60s and '70s. And uh, they only did a few of the popular body styles. And it's just to show the Snake and Mongoose remake, which is pretty cool. I might actually try to get get me a set of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So they don't look exactly the same, but it's kind of just a, a homage to the old shit. Mm. Pretty cool. 
Yeah, that is. But whereas where a, a regular Hot Wheels car is like 99 cents, those ones like that, they're like 3.99 or 2.99 or some shit. Mm. Like three times as much. Okay, and then we've got the price guide website. I've also got that, yeah, that Marvin one... site open if we want to check it. Yeah, you can just fuck around on that one. Uh, it should I, the link should go straight to the the price guide part, but their fucking website is crazy looking. <laughs> yes, it does look. Looks like, like it hasn't changed website. since. Yeah, it hasn't changed since nineteen ninety eight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was hosted on GeoCities at one point. Oh, I remember GeoCities. I used okay, to have I little GeoCities. Yeah, I used to um have little songs that you could download, like Fast Tracker Two songs and custom um patches, which were sounds. Oh, so here's the treasure hunts. Not sure which one I'd need to look up though. Um, do you know which one, the treasure hunt, what year it was? That one that you had? 2000. Uh, oh, and then there's. Okay, no. I was looking at saying. Treasure hunt series. Purple body. What color was it? Double vision. It's red. Oh, here we the go. Name Sweet. Of the yeah, yeah. Sweet 16 too. And then you click on pick. Yeah, and there's the picture of it. Yeah, okay. So we found the car. Doesn't say anything about the price. Ah. Oh. It's like a star value chart? How many stars does it have, though? I don't know. Let's have a what look on... What a weird... Yeah, it's a bit odd. Um, so it was Hot Wheels. Is it one or two word? Uh, Treasure Hunt Series 2000. You're gonna check he's locking up. Refresh your chat, people, if you haven't. Oh, what's happening? Hmm. Are we gassing? Just chat keeps locking us, locking out. Chat died. Echo, echo. Huh. Seems okay. Let's have a look. It's fine now. Yeah, it might just be the stream health. It seems a tiny bit low for me today. I did update the bitrate. I've been trying to increase my bitrate as well. Um, so that could be the problem. I might need to lower it back down again. So, hmm. Hopefully we can survive the way through, because I don't know if I can do that live. Don't know if <laughs> I can do that live. No, I can't find the exact one. Um, What was it called? A Series uh, 16? Sweet 16. Yeah, Sweet 16 too. Like a Roman numeral two. Here it is, but it's only two bucks. Um, let's see. Average fourteen bucks, it reckons. Yeah, there's a few here. Eighteen bucks, eleven seventy five. These could be uh you know, starting bids though. Um forty five bucks. Yeah. There you yeah, go. I mean, it has, it's worth more than what you would have paid for it. Yeah. Is there any others you I wanted to look uh, up? Nah. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, if you're on there looking up... Uh, I tried to look up uh, Snake and Mongoose, but all it was pulling up was the, uh, the race car set. There's like a set, like a drag strip thing. Uh, but yeah. it wasn't anything special. They were like 45 bucks or something. Well, here they are... Series 2 red line tires, $26 out of the box. Restored. Um, hmm. Hot Wheels Vintage Collection, but 1994. Do you know the year of it? It's 1964. Let's see if maybe? we've got a year on the line. It's 1969. 
Let's try it. Let's try it. Why not? Oh, yeah. I found them. Yeah, so they've got Is one right? of the cars out of the box for 20 bucks, and then you've got vintage Mongoose and Snake drag, uh, drag race set. Yeah. Had all the, has all the accessories and everything, and it's in pretty good condition. $450. Yep. Yep, and Snake and Mongoose were Kudas. Plymouth Kudas. Hmm. Very, you know, neat little thing. Have you got Lego? Yes, I do have Lego. <laughs> I do. I was thinking about showing the, um, the big container of Lego that still exists in time and space. But, um... We used to have, I don't know if you guys had them in the US as well, with the Lego Expedition, um, Exhibitions, I think they, were, they would have been classed as, where they had like, uh, you would go there and they would have different little worlds set up all made out of Lego, so they would have it like a massive, you know, in the pretty big areas too, let's say like 10 meters by 10 meters, and it's all Robin Hood stuff with big trees made out of Lego and all the Robin Hood dudes doing stuff. Lego Fair, that sounds like it, yeah. No, no, space themed area. Um, but then the, at those places, they would have Lego competitions. And so my brother and I joined in one once and ended up winning Lego. Yeah. And we did actually really well. So they would give you, uh, you know, like normal looking blocks and so nothing special. You didn't have any like sharks or all the different types of lego that they now have where they just make any custom lego bit they just had the original blocks and everybody got exactly the same and they would give you 15 mm. minutes and you, they would just give you a theme and you had to build something with the blocks given to you within that 15 minutes that was for the first comp and then for the second part of the competition you had the exact same blocks and you had uh i think another 15 minutes to build mm -hmm. whatever you wanted and so yeah i remember my brother and i i think i won and he came second for building whatever he wanted and then we had to do a teacher i think was the theme of one of the comps i remember doing that and we tied and won a whole bunch of lego and then you went on to the finals and stuff like that so yeah hell yeah pretty cool and then the finals we lost so <laughs> but it was the same thing <laughs> except a lot more lego um and i had to go down to sydney in that so yeah it's pretty cool uh, but now yeah every time i see lego at the shops it's all sorts of weird weird and wonderful um stuff like there's just so many custom things now like it, why not just build a toy instead of calling it lego and Having a piece that all, you know, you put all the pieces together and make Batman. Wow, that's great. It looks exactly like Batman because it's just custom pieces of Lego to make it look like Batman. It's it's a shame. <laughs> it sort of lost its appeal of being able to be creative and build what you want out of blocks to, hey, here's the custom built blocks. Just put them together and make Batman or some other licensed properties. And I want. Uh, okay, does anyone else have anything? I don't see any questions or anything about Hot Toys. I think we're going to move on. And guess what we're moving on to. Oh, wait a minute, I've got background music, don't I? Yeah, there. You just can't hear it. <coughs> Oh, okay.
There you go. There's my small intro. Yes, that was made by... That's a very, very old song. It's just in a re-upload. And you would have to thank... I can't remember his DJ name. Luke for the scratching. His name was Luke. Um, where, so where did Smurfette sleep? I don't know these questions. I do know Smurf lore, though. I am pretty good on Smurf lore. Because I'm going to show my Smurfs. Because that's what everybody wants to see, of course. <laughs> oh, I gotta mute this, don't I? Yes, I do. On it today. Up with it. Totally over this. On top of things. Oh, come on, hurry up. Bloody video. Dead air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you want me to make noise. Yeah, that's it. All right, now we can show my Smurfs. Here we go. Here we go. God, wonky camera. Jesus Christ. All right, so Smurfs, um, I don't know. Uh, see, a lot of people are going to be pretty young. I'm just going to pause. Oh, I can't see the date. Pause. There we go. Um, so, I want to see here, Jesus Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a lot of people are going to be a lot younger than me. Um, so I don't know if this was the case overseas. But in New Zealand, when we were children, they had BP service stations would have um, Smurfs. So you, you could buy... You, I think there was some sort of deal where you had so much petrol, you get a discount or get a free Smurf. Or you could just buy them. Um, and so that's how they would give them out. Uh and they were the part of the sh so they all were made by Schleidick or whatever it is I can't pronounce don't make me pronounce it live Jesus uh but that's where they these mainly came from these all came from the BP service uh petrol station but I don't understand how this happened in my collection I seem to have Smurfs that are from 1961 up to like into the 70s and that like this one is from 1965 no idea how I managed to get Smurfs that are twice as old as me, but there you go, or even more. Um, so yeah, uh, every time we went to the servo, my parents would actually actively not go take us to the servo. So they would, even if they were running low on fuel, they would drop us at home, then dad would go back down to the servo and get petrol because he knew that would fucking go off about the Smurfs. And need more fucking Smurfs. Because Smurfs was also the thing that was on every day, I think, on the on uh, the TV. And it was like the one show that they played. Like they'd play like one or right. two episodes and that was about it. In New Zealand, we had pretty poxy television. I think I've told this before, but Saturday night primetime was Sheepdog Trials. Or black and white movies back in the 80s, early 80s. So, yes. So these are some of the Smurfs that my brother and I had collected. I had the red bag and he had a blue bag. We actually had official Smurf bags, I think. I don't know if mum made those. She might have just sewed them for us. But here's some of the Smurfs. This is a um, socialist Smurf. He's like Socialist Smurf. Yeah, well, in the 40s comics, he actually uh, leads a socialist rebellion against the fascist dictator Smurf, which is King Smurf, which was a... Which was actually Hitler, um, if you couldn't work that out. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's from the comic. I'm not making this up. I have um, Hitler Smurf. Well, no, I don't. Sorry. I have King Smurf tattooed on me. I also have Black Smurf tattooed on me, which is a zombie Smurf. Yes, I have Smurfs tattooed on my body. That's how lame I am. Um, oh, my God. And in the. It was one of. <laughs> The first two issues of the Smurf comic, right? One of the first issues was the King Smurf one, which is uh, Hitler, you know, there's a fascist uprising because Papa Smurf goes out of town and um, King Smurf then takes over and becomes Hitler Smurf and then there's a socialist uprising and Papa Smurf comes back and he's like, what are you all doing? Jesus Christ. And then turns it back into normal old Smurfville. Um, but then there's also the zombie apocalypse in the 40s comics. And I've never seen a zombie story, no zombie movies or anything before the 40s. Like, so it's really odd that it's in the Smurf comic in, like, I think it was from 1944, 
if I'm not mistaken. I've got a reprint of the comic. And uh, one right. Smurf gets bitten by a wasp, turns black, and then he goes around biting other Smurfs. They then become black. All they can say is, ganap, ganap, and then the, all they want to do is bite other Smurfs until the whole village becomes black Smurfs. And Papa Smurf makes a potion, but then gets bitten as he's about to throw it, and then the potion explodes or something like that. Everyone gets turned back to normal, and it's all good. You have a tattoo of <laughs> <a> Tyrone Smurf? <laughs> yes, I do. You can't see them. Nobody would even know I'm tattooed until... Because it, it, it's a bit hard to get my shirt off these days. This doesn't happen a lot. Well, I am going to the brothel on Monday. Try then. Alright, so we got a police smurf. I think this would have been one of the ones that we would have got from the petrol station. So this is 1981. I'm not going to pronounce the name. Sh Shyly? Shylak? I don't know. But they also make <laughs> lots of different little animals and that. Like realistic whales and cows and... Number one teacher. Okay. Fuck. Your hands are so tiny. So these ones would have had a little base, but they've <laughs> totally been ripped off. <laughs> Maybe the Smurfs are small. Shut up. Uh, so there would have been like a little green bit of plastic that he would have rested on, but that's long gone. These Smurfs are bloody old. That one's super old. There's big Jew nose, all the paint's gone. That one would be from the 60s, 60s Brainy Smurf. And then these ones are the 80s ones, the ones where that, yeah, like Jokey Smurf, Dr. Smurf, Smurfette, uh, Letterbox Smurf. There's the toothbrush one. Normie said he had one of them. So, Normie, where did you get that Smurf from? Was it from a service station or just they just sold them at toy stores? There's Smurfette. And there's this is the 60s version of Smurfette there. Yes, I know they're dirty. They've been sitting in a cupboard for 20 years or something since I last looked at them. So I went to a BP service station to get a, um, some food. And I saw that they were selling Smurfs. After all these years, it's only about a year or two. Ah, oh, toy stores, okay. And so, um, I do, yeah, so I do see them at the toy store in the shy lac or whatever they call it section. They have a little rack and it sells all the animals and sometimes they've got Smurfs. But since it was at the BP service station again, I thought, fuck it, I'm going to buy Gargamel. Because I always wanted a Gargamel and Azrael, so I got them. I wonder if people nice. even know what I'm talking about. Do kids know what a Smurf is? There was that Smurf movie, live action. Shylock? Shylock? Sh Shylock? Sh no, I'm not, i I got to stop trying to pronounce it. Oh no, feet docks, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> so these are some of the modern ones. Now, uh, these ones are actually worth quite a bit. The wedding cake topping Smurfs. But look, they've got the hands wrong. So see how she's got her hand out on the left, and he's got his hand out on the left as well. Oh, they did so. it, but... Yeah, well, how are they supposed to hold hands? What's the go there? See, I'm trying to work it out. They're supposed to face different directions? Don't know. My, my, my brain's melting when I film this, trying to work that out. It was very, very difficult. Here's Hip Hop Smurf. From 2002. I have one of those. I sent him... He ended up a river in a, on a river. He went missing in South Africa. Blue Waffle Smurf. He went <laughs> up a... Yeah, that's Blue Waffle Smurf. He went... So I, I put him... Do you know what geocaching is? I made him a geobug, so I gave him a little keychain and... Yeah. Yeah, yeah I know what that is. Yeah, so I made him a geobug, and he ended up going... He went uh, He went all around Australia on a bike trip, and then went to South Africa, went up a river, and totally went missing. Yeah. Oh, shit. There's more to that lore, but I can't really say too much. So, these are uh, knockoff Smurfs. I went and bought the Halloween set off eBay, thinking, oh, these will be cool, we'll get some more Smurfs. And look at the paint job. Look at the blue. Totally the knockoff. Fuck? So, these are just... Uh, they've just dyed them. So they've... See how the paint's sort of flaky and everything? So they've done a mm -hmm. um, a cast of them. And the cast is pretty good. They've got the detail. they even got the printing all in there. But the paint job really gives it away that they're totally counterfeit Smurfs. Um, so, yeah, it was like the Halloween set. So there's a, a wolf man. Look at those eyes. Look at that crappy-ass paint job. Absolutely horrible. Uh, oh wow! 
Yeah, Man. that's bad. If this one's not painted too bad, but then look at the bottom of the pumpkin. It just all runs down. Not good at all. So, yeah. But that that's my Smurf collection. Um, let's... Sarah, I should have been Interesting. a YouTube clip. It's a ghost. Ghost isn't too bad. So, here's something else I wanted to show as well, is the Kiwis. So, in New Zealand, they also had Kiwis uh, collectibles. And you could get all sorts of different ones. This one's an all-black rugby player. Uh, the one on the right says a counterfeit pencil top of tourist shop bullshit one. Um, and then this one on the left is my one that I that I got given by probably one of my relatives. And he's uh, at the racetrack. He's a racetrack Kiwi. Um, so I have a picture of all of them. I'll show you. Yeah, here they are here. So there is more to, than these, but these are some of them that you can get. So they're pretty much just like the Smurfs. And if you go into any um, antique store or old, you know, second-hand store in New Zealand, you're bound to find a little... You'll find them in a cabinet or in a bucket somewhere. You'll find a bunch of these Kiwis. Because everybody right. would have one somewhere in New Zealand. will have one in their cupboard or... Up on the shelf. I've got the cricket one somewhere. I know he exists. The one with the rugby ball. Um, he's in the kitchen, I think. <coughs> so, yeah. I had the diving one as well. So, Oh, there's a hip-hop one there, too. So, yeah. And there's my one. So, there's there's a lot more to them, just like the Smurfs. There was, um... You get Kiwis. Kiwis as well. There you go. Um... So, what else did I... This was an, a New Zealand thing? Yes, it was a New Zealand thing. Because I don't think um, Kiwis would have been a very successful collectible outside of New Zealand. So here we go, we're going to get a close-up look at them. So what? Oh, there he goes, 1980, 1986? 1986. He's a bit, bit banged up. Still, pretty cool. Oh no, I don't think you'd be able to find these. I know you can find Smurfs still for sale. If you just type in Smurfs, because I've already tried this. Ah, oh, maybe not. Are they worth a lot of money? No, not really. Um. Oh, are they Smurf toys? Or did I put in figurines or something? Lot of 18 vintage 70 Smurfs. Nah, they, yeah, they're usually in lots and... Nah, they're movie ones. Get lost. They're not vintage at all. 1980s. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, Punky said she had a helicopter smurf. Like, I never... Yeah, I never saw the mushrooms and all the accessories until years later. I was like, oh, damn it. I could have gotten those. Look at them all. They've even got them in a nice little setup. And you can buy them for $31. <laughs> they even set them up. A little 28. So they're not worth a lot. So on, did you have naughty thoughts about Smurf Ed as a kid? Uh, no. No, that wasn't me. Liar. That was not me. Uh, it's not loading the picture for some reason. Oh, and here's the cake toppers. Oh, no, that's... They're a bit different. Um, 1980 with the plush bag. Not going to show me the photo. But, yeah, not worth a lot. I wonder... Yeah, oh, I think well. if I went Kiwi toys, they're not going to show me anything. Nothing. Yeah, whatever. And that's going to be some sort of weird plush things. Yeah. You just, it's, they're just lost. Lost in time itself. I never had any of the sets, just weird individual Smurfs. Yeah, well, I think, like, in New Zealand, because there was so, you know, there were every BP servo, um, and a few other places, yeah, most people would have a Smurf. And then the Kiwis were the same. You would find those selling everywhere. 
So you'd always end up with one. Yeah, I know, they got dust and lint all over them. It's because my phone camera is so good, yo. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kiwi Bird New Zealand. I swear, um, normally puts his dick. Yeah, and then I found that, I don't know how this ended up, but it was in the Smurf bag. The Scrooge McDuck? This old Scrooge McDuck? Okay. Nice. And then there was all this other weird shit there too. There was a Care Bear. Remember Care Bears? There was a Care Bear keychain. Fuck oh, yeah. Garfield keychain. A cookie Monster from Sesame Street. And then there was like a Mario. And then I found Pokemon. Somehow, I've ended up owning Pokemon that I didn't... Look! Remember this? It's the Penis Sucker Pokemon that we were playing around with a few weeks ago. There it is. I actually own the bloody thing. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea where this bloody thing came from. But it, Pokemon have <laughs> even infiltrated my life somehow. <laughs> is that a Squirrel? Well, I can't remember. At least is it a tough of fuck? It's a Weeping Bill. Oh, the okay. Weeping Bill. That's the one that you had a lot of fun morphing into other shit, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I know, and I own the bloody thing. And the, here's the Punky Shrewster one. It's a Punky Shrewster Pokemon. I think it's called a Shrewster, I don't know. I'm just making that up. Sand Shrew. But it's You're close. close. Sand, Cl Sand close Shrew. Close enough. Close enough. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and then, look, Country. some old McDonald's Transformer toy? Right. So it's just some other random crap I found in the back. It's not really important. I just thought I'd show them. Because I was just like, <coughs> oh, cool, it's a Pokemon. And then... These are some of the collectibles, some other stuff. These were in the same box. Because you can actually collect these from the from the supermarket. So depending, I think for every $20, you get one. And they're like mini miniature versions of products that they sell at Coles, which is the supermarket chain. And everybody's gone wild really? for these. Yeah, you can buy these on eBay. You hmm. can buy these. Like, if you look up... Um, I think they're the Coles toys or something like that. You'll you will find you can't find them. Uh, can't remember what they're called. <laughs> yeah, little shop. Here we go. And here they are on eBay. Everyone's going off for them at the moment, and you can get a little carry thing for them. All the different bloody products. Oh, it's a little veggie mite, little black bean. You gotta teach women how to clean early. Yeah, but um, a lot of dull people in that. But I found that the bleach, my big ass dark side action figure, perfectly holds the bleach. So there you go. So you can actually use them. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> that, like every time I go to the shop, I get them for my friend who uh makes little doll setups as part of. Some sort of club or something that she's in. I don't know. But yeah, there you go. Um, but I just thought since they were in the same box, I would show them. Here we go. Now, I wanted to show you these because Stretch loves this stuff. Oh, micro, yeah. Micro machines. Fuck yeah. Does chat remember micro, micro awesome. machines? Now, this was a watch that you could wear on your wrist. Yes, that's right. You could even pop micro machines in here. I had a little ramp that you could extend out, and then you could snap and pop micro machines and shoot micro machines at people. Why you couldn't just throw them, I don't know. Pretty dumb. Um, yeah, micro yes. machines were the shit, dude. Yeah, well, here's some. These would all be my brothers, though. He, it was more his thing, uh, and of course, he was into military, like the Desert Storm cards that he owned and all of that. So most, a lot of it's going to be military stuff. But these are some of the ones that ex still exist that I found in a jar. Do y'all have tech decks in Australia? What's tech decks? The little finger skateboards. Ah, uh, yeah. That was probably a bit past my time, though. But I have, I do know what you're well, talking I just about. Didn't yeah. know if it was... oh, okay. Yeah, I played the fuck out of them. <laughs> Punky love the Got commercials. A... That was a taken up in school. There you go. Um, oh, God damn it! <laughs> just 
opened a tab and closed it. Let's have a look. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's not copyright. Micro... Wasn't they really... They spoke really fast or something? I can't remember. Oh, my member berries are, are going off. Let's have a look. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, I think he spoke really... It's the... Well, yeah. The guy Man, speaks really the genuine original classically collectible, most midget miniature replicas of the real things. Yoshi, they did have Micro the machine. VMXs, too. I had all this shit. Smaller than enough, this one or this one. And now with a totally terrific town. The new Micro Machine Super City 2-box playset. Close this a mild matter 2-box. Open this a Micro Machine USA. Like two different colored tires and oh, I forgot different to get shit you could switch out on it. Sorry, I forgot to give Stretch a link and he doesn't realize we're playing stuff at the moment. <laughs> Sorry, Stretch. Well, fuck me. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'll play the rest of it. The mini motorcycle repair shop, the I'll give you the link for the next one. The real working drawbridge, highway, passenger ramp, and garage doors. Or take a Micro Machine flying machine in for a landing. Phew! This place has it all. The new Micro Machine Super City Toolbox playset from Galoo. The one and only outrageous original miniatures. Remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the real... There you go. So, yeah, that was the guy who could speak, uh... As many, uh, what was it? World's fastest talker. He could say as many um, words in a minute. The fastest person who could speak so many words. I don't know. Here's another one. This is the micro machine, man. I will um, pop the link in on air links for stretch because I am nice. There you go, stretch. Presenting the most midget miniature motorcade of micro machines. Each one has dramatic details, <coughs> precision paint jobs, plus incredible micro machine pocket <laughs> playsets. There's a police station, fire station, restaurant, service station, and more. Perfect pocket portables to take any place. And there are many miniature playsets to play with, and each one comes with its own special edition micro machine vehicle and fun, fantastic features that miraculously move. Raise the boat lift at the airport marina, man the gun turret at the army base, clean your car at the car wash, raise the toll bridge. And these playsets fit together to form a micro machine world. Micro machine pocket playsets, so tremendously tiny, so perfectly precise, so dazzlingly detailed. You'll want to pocket them all. Micro fast. machines and micro machine pocket playsets sold separately from Galoob. The smaller they are, the better they are. I remember we had one of those, um, play sets. Whee! So we had one of those, um, yeah, fold-out play sets. I do remember that. What did Normie have? He said he had something as well. said he had a bunch of micro-machines. Yeah, he had a, one of the play sets. Alright, so we are going, I'm going to keep going, but if you have stuff to show or would like to just come on and talk about uh, old toys that you used to collect, or toys that you currently collect and still have, then just jump into the waiting room and we will put, start pulling people in. Hopefully, at least some people uh, actually come in. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep going with what we've got. But feel free. The Discord link is in the description. Um, rather than me posting it again. I can't post it if people really want it. Also, Nomi had the toolbox and a bunch of little folding sets and hundreds of cars. There you go. But some of them are pretty detailed. Like, look at this one. It actually folds out all the doors and windows and, um, not windows, hood and, um, bump and boot open up. That must have been from a little fold-out set because, look, it comes with little people as well. I don't remember them being little people, but there you go. Oh, here's the Smurf bag, so I forgot to show before. So that was my brother's. No, I had the red one because red's better colour. This is some sort of memo calendar. There was all sorts of Smurf stuff you could get. Ah, every time. You know what? I'm actually going to answer it this time. <laughs> every time, every fucking weekend, while I'm live streaming, you ring me. Can I call you back, please? Thank you. Fuck me. Every fucking weekend at the exact same time. Chat would know that. Oh, okay. He-Man! This is the only He-Man I ever had. It was like a one where you um, put all the bits together. It would make like two different people or a snake person. People broke my toys and that was my job. Just have to play along. Ah, oh, now. I went through the old toy box... Um, that was in storage that was still had stuff in it and uh, It was had willow stuff in there. I used to love the shit out of willow. Do you remember willow stretch? No, I don't all right, so willow. I'll, I'll have to bring up a picture to jog people's memories um, oh, God damn it now I can't find the picture 
I had it right here. There it is. Now it's not letting me open picture. I'll have to open and paint for some reason. Okay. God damn it. There's the movie. Ah! Alright, so it was a... Uh, produced by George Lucas. Directed by Ron Howard. Starred Val Kilmer. And the little med midget that's in all the Leprechaun movies. It's an... Yeah, so it's a like a fantasy movie. Called Willow. There you go. Hmm. But I love the shit out of it. I saw it, I th I'm pretty sure I saw it at the cinemas. But the best thing was, is that the toys were super cheap. I could afford them with my pocket money, because they were only a buck. For most of them, except for the bigger horse ones and all that. And, they sold them at all the supermarkets, so every time I went shopping with mum, I could buy Willow toys. Or I could try and convince nice. her to buy me a Willow toy. Yes. So there you go, here's all the Willow toys. Um, now that guy's on the wrong horse, he was a good guy, so you usually get a white horse, but fucked if I could find it. So, you get, you get what you're given. You get what you're given. <laughs> so, yeah. But uh, this was, like, one of my favorite toys. And they are cool, because you could set them up. Now, isn't that a splitting image of Val Kilmer? I don't know why he's, um, saluting Hitler there, but there you go. Splitting image. It's the right image. thing to do. That's it. Here's Willow. Here's Willow. There's little legs. Bloody midgets. And then there's the evil queen. That's her knife. I think she um, cuts open babies in the movie with that knife. Lovely. Oh. Lovely. And one of the soldiers. Couldn't find the, her main soldier. He laid like a big skull thing or something like that. And then this one hmm. seems to be growing... Seems to be growing some sort of wasp or something out of his shoulder. I had no idea what happened there. But yeah. But that, that's what I was really into. Still no one I'm waiting. No no one loves this stretch. And then, look, I found a G.I. <laughs> Joe. I didn't think I had a G.I. Joe, but supposedly I did. I'm pretty sure this is a G.I. Joe. Because look at that mustache. How could it not be? What a... What a the fuck happened to his arm? Oh, I, I don't know. Probably snapped off. Now, that's his backpack. It doesn't work anymore, but you used to be able to wind up this. And then this thing would go... It'll make noise if I unmute it. Okay. Oh, you can hear the cat fucking around in the background, as per usual. <laughs> and then, look, I found a, a... You know, if the old Transformers you used to be able to put them together and make a larger Transformer? This is the head yeah. of one. But that's all I found. And then this is all I found of... Uh, someone mentioned Dino Riders the other day, and I was like, Oh, yeah, Dino Riders. Let's get to the brass tacks here. How many of those have you rammed in your balloon knot? What's a balloon knot? Your butthole. There you go. And I said, oh, I had a dino rider. I used to like watching the show and that, but that's all I found. And here is a black smurf to prove that they, yes, they do exist. Face docs. And, um, yeah, so it is the black smurf. You can get it. It's an exclusive Funko. You know what that means, don't you? That it's worth fucking nothing, because fuck Funkos. And here's some other Funkos. <laughs> Fuck Funkos. Uh, my friend who did my tattoos, he also owned a, used to own a toy store. C kind of still does, but it got um, downplayed a lot more. And uh, he would say Funkos were the worst thing. Because um, they also took over Kenner. Remember the old Kenner toys with Alien and that? They were just like low detailed sort of action figures that you could get. Oh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. they would yeah. turn up. So with the Funkos, if you go into any store that sells Funkos, oh, Normies, I'm waiting. You would find that they had so many bloody, like, new ones all the time. They'd just keep bringing them in and bringing them in. And every, and so it would just be, become the bane of their existence. Because if you signed a contract to supply Funko in your shop, you had to take in all this new stock all the time. And it was just crazy. If anyone's seen the amount of Funko Pops that there are out there, you'll know how many there are. And they only make $2 off each Funko, so the, the upgrade is absolutely nothing. Alright! Damn. We're going to pull in some people, though. First, we have Punky, and we have Norman. Hey, how you doing? Hi! 
doing well. That's good. Uh, just watching the stream and forgot about all the fucking toys I used to have. Jesus. Eh. Normie Are followed you... me. <laughs> no, I was there first. I know. I'm getting <laughs> stalked. <laughs> wow, that's but why yeah, I, I do this show. So. Yeah, I had a lot of I had a lot of Smurfs, but no, I had a shit ton of micro machines. And uh, uh, you only have one GI Joe. That, that might yeah. not have been big. Yeah, no, it wasn't. Have been big down in the... It wasn't. Yeah, like had I had the movie in that the cartoon movie. I remember watching that. Right. Yeah, we had um, we had the the cartoon that was like a daily thing on uh, our local Fox station. Like Fox was half a station, so almost every show on it was syndicated back in the eighties, and it was the only like reliable TV. place. Yeah, it was like the only reliable place to watch cartoons. Now, you might see the same cartoon twice in a week, the same episode twice in a week, but, <laughs> you know, they were fucking cartoons. And, um, yeah, but G.I. Joe was was absolutely fucking huge, and my older, my older brother collected them for a little while, but I don't remember if he got it or if I got it, but there was, there was this gigantic fucking plane... For G.I. Joe, where the wings actually folded out. Oh. And that thing was massive. And it was it was like one of those one of those toys where you were just like the shit if you had that toy. Because it was uh, <laughs> it was to scale. But, it was it was fucking massive. Bug Eater okay. is asking, was it Fox 42? No. Because I've got, I, I pulled up this to start, so if we were, got into G.I. Joe's, we could show them. Um, mm -hmm. and, but I just typed in G.I. Joe toys. There's so m yeah. many of them. Uh, God, that guy looks pretty gay, doesn't he? Yeah, I mean, they got really, really bad uh, toward the end of the 80s, I think. Mm. But the but the ones that, that came out like in the early to mid 80s, those were fucking awesome. Oh, I but think the, I found it. Oh, no, this is like, Look, it's like some sort of massive boat that they're all on. Um, um hang on, I'll I'll find an image of it. Um, yeah, here here it is. Yeah, it's got like an astronaut looking dude that came with it. I remember that, which was kind of weird. Oh, look but, at these uh, big bloody ones, Jesus. But um. Yeah, there there is a lot of uh, there is a lot of GI Joe toys. Uh, where can I post? Where can I post this picture? On our links. Um, Should okay. be just above on air. Yeah. Yeah, this this is the one I'm talking about, and it's a lot bigger than what it looks like there. Like if you if you can imagine the mm. the uh, the dude, but there's a lever. There's like a there's like a little sliding lever, uh, but between the wings, like kind of between all all sets of the wings there, right in the middle on top. If you pull that, if you push that forward, the wings actually fold up to beside it, so that it would have a, uh, it would it would uh, be more stealthy. It would be more for like distance travel, mm. and then. They fold out like that if they're in like a dog fight or some shit. Oh yeah, you can see the folds there. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. And did yeah, it? I mean, the, did that missile shoot? I'm guessing it probably did. They always had some. Sort uh, no, of the those. I think I don't think it had shooting missiles. If it did, it was only a couple. But it had, but there were there were like more than a dozen. There were like a dozen missiles that that clipped to it. Like you could take them off and and uh rearrange them or you know pretend that you were firing them at somebody mm -hmm. so i mean they were detachable you know it was pretty cool and and you could obviously you could take the cockpit you know that that dome on the cockpit off and put gi joe's in there yeah yeah but yeah but oh, i, I mean they, them, they yeah. were they were mostly all plastic but man they were they were fairly quality toys as much as much uh abuse i put that plane through the fucking thing still worked as far as i remember when i left it yeah you yeah. Know, half the all the missiles were probably missing at that <laughs> point but you know or yeah. torn in half or something but 
Yeah, it still worked. Mobile command center. Look at some of these other ones that they've got. Look how many missiles this thing shoots. Got guns coming out the wazoo. Yeah, a buddy of mine <laughs> had that one. A buddy of mine wow. had that one. That thing is that thing is fucking massive as well. Yeah. I mean, there were a lot of just incredible fucking toys that came out. Oh, look at this! Oh, custom Cobra Terradrome. Yeah. Look how many bloody things. Oh, because it's custom made. Okay, yeah. But look how many G.I. Joes they got in there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I had one of the bases. I mean, they, they came out with so many that, you know, I, I can't even start to... The plane is the one that was like the quintessential, you know, that was the fucking toy to have but the uh but the, yeah they've got so many bases and vehicles and stuff and they got mm. really really they got really weird uh toward the end of the 80s because they ran out of ideas they they made every fucking toy imaginable like every kind of vehicle toy imaginable they made some really really weird shit like like fucking uh, uh i mean i don't even remember I don't even remember. Like, like there's vehicles that didn't make any sense whatsoever. Well, look at this one. It's got guns that shoot at a nuclear missile that then explodes the truck and kills everybody. Look, it's got bloody <laughs> missiles that are under just above the wheels. Yeah. <laughs> it's a fucking gun. Oh, but of course. <laughs> look at all the guns. Like, <laughs> that must have been what you were talking about, Normie. <laughs> the mud's like flying up at these bloody missiles. Ah, that'd be right. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the, the best part was, like, the, the selling point of these vehicles was, like, how many... <laughs> one of the selling points of these vehicles was how many G.I. Joes you could fit on it. So they would have those little... <laughs> they would have those little pegs. They would have those little pegs everywhere, and they would have pictures of the box of G.I. Joes, like, hanging off the side of these vehicles <laughs> and, and, and shooting. But they'd be, like, hanging out, like straddling a fucking missile or something you know <laughs> yeah like... yeah that's it <laughs> well, look at this one it fits one there two there bloody a few on the back one yeah. on this little side craft little side yeah, submarine I mean, that pops I, off i mean they started getting ridiculous like there was no rhyme or reason to the fucking vehicles that were <laughs> that were being manufactured they're just yeah. like hey Let's make the weirdest shaped fucking thing. Put a bunch of guns and missiles on it and a bunch of little pegs. Oh, no, like, wait, look. It pops up, and then you can fit yeah. another person on underneath it. I see right. what you mean. I think there's three dudes, like, sitting on the side of this one, <laughs> like, right next to the wheel. <laughs> it made, made, made absolutely no sense. Like, oh, no way. Like, you, you, would, like, you would... Why did I sign up for Cobra? So They're many... fucking putting me on the side of vehicles. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> so you would have so many military deaths. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, someone's got to die somehow. And if you ever watch the cartoon, they can't aim for shit. And no, nobody you, gets hit. God, God knows if those lasers that came out actually do any damage. You know, they'd be they'd be firing a revolver, but somehow lasers would come out. <laughs> but the. Uh, yeah, no, nobody can hit shit, in the, so they got to kill off the soldiers somehow, I suppose. So they have them straddling missiles and hanging out, hanging out next to tires in an all-terrain vehicle. <sighs> Bloody! I never really collected shit. anything. Maybe records. Uh you know, you know what? I don't remember if I had that aircraft carrier but i do remember playing with it yeah it was fucking massive i don't think i had it i don't think i had it but i do remember uh i want to say one of my friends had it that, said, that thing was like it was like a so coffin I remember the lever i remember the lever or something that you're talking about it was it, it was it was like a giant plastic coffin like if you could take the top of it off he could probably fit a small child in the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Look you know at this guy's driving around on. I, I wouldn't feel safe fucking... It's got no protection. He's got knee pads. This is fucking yeah. driving yeah. around on... Yeah. yeah. I, actually, that that might have been, like, like some kind of G.I. Joe answer to, to those... Do you remember those things, uh... They were like uh, supposed to replace big wheels, where you like 
you like bend them. They had wheels that could only roll in one direction, and that's how you gained your momentum by by turning the steering wheel. Mm -hmm. And and the more you turn the steering wheel, the faster you went. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of looks like one of those. Mm -hmm. That was a '80s thing too. But yeah, there was there was some ridiculous fucking shit for GI Joe. Like when, I think when I stopped buying. <laughs> The G.I. Joe's was before they started coming out with all the fucking ridiculous vehicles. Like, some sometime around when they started that was when I was like, okay, yeah, I, I don't have room for this shit. Let's get into uh, March. Yeah, because they'll come. There's so many. You just keep scrolling down and it's just more and more helicopters, jeeps, and yeah. all sorts of stuff. Like, look at this helicopter. I mean, you were 17 GI at Joe's that point. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but the uh, oh, I had that transport vehicle. Ah, uh, uh, that one. Uh, no, the the uh, the the truck. Bottom right. Yeah, bottom right. Yeah. Nope. You just scroll past it. It's, I think uh, I got yeah, it. The, the, the uh, yeah, that that one there. Yeah, I had one of those. Uh, I think the top was a different color though. Hmm. Oh, that's different. But, there's one there with different color. Or yeah. More camouflage. Oh, here we go. Yeah, but I mean, you, you have to keep the sides. Like, all these things are to scale. So when you look at them, you know, they just look like toys. But, I mean, they all had to be to scale to the action figures. Mm. So, you know, they they took up a lot of fucking room. Like if you had if you had a sizable collection of GI Joe vehicles, <laughs> you had to have a dedicated fucking room for them. <laughs> it was just not there was there was no way that you were able to collect a whole bunch of them and and not run out of space quickly. Mm -hmm. That's it. Right. Yeah, I I had a I had a tank too, but yeah, I don't I don't remember specifically. Ah, um, oh, look at this! It's an old man with his with his GI Joe stuff. He's so proud. Look how proud he is. You'll see it in a second. Ah, if I could just zoom in, buddy, zoom. Mm. There we go. Damn, that's big. Yeah, yeah, that that. Oh, and there's the airplane. But yeah, look, yeah, you said the airplane was large. It's now yeah. on a fucking hangar. Look how large it is. Yeah, this. that was the aircraft carrier that <laughs> the that, aircraft chat, carrier. that was talking Christ. about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How many GI Joes do you think you could fit on there? <laughs> yeah, <I> mean, <laughs> oh, it's six feet little, tall. Little fucking pegs everywhere. Oh, yeah, it was like a. Yes, yeah, it was like a giant plastic coffin. I mean, it was <laughs> it was fucking massive. Because um, do, someone was yeah, selling one on Comic Book Men. Do you remember the show mm. Comic Book Men? It's run by Kevin Smith and uh -huh. it had Walt Flanagan. Uh -huh. Yeah, one a guy brings one in and they they set it up in the back room for one episode. It's in about season three or season four. Mm. Yeah. And I remember, yeah, I remember seeing it and going, man, that's huge. Oh yeah, look, here's some. It's like five kids playing with it. Fuck, that's a horrible <laughs> photo. <but> it's <laughs> so fucking big. Yeah. Yeah. The. Uh... Uh, I, I don't know how long they could have sold that thing for because the stores were just like, all right, you know what? Enough is enough. <laughs> we, don't, we don't have the fucking shelf space for this shit. That's it. Uh, that's it. Yeah. You can only imagine how much that thing cost. Like, oh, I mean, that, G, I wonder how much GI Joe's weren't, GI Joe's were not cheap. So. USS flag. Okay. We're going to look it up. Let's see. Um, so. G.I. Joe USS flag with two G's part fuel trailer okay it's only there's bits for it it's not the whole bloody thing there's all these accessories for it by the look of it oh. Jesus BLT says uh, about a hundred dollars <laughs> no, it was more than a hundred dollars. No, it was it was more than a hundred dollars. That plane was a hundred dollars. 
the plane yeah. that sat on it was a hundred dollars. I mean that Damn. that shit was oh. that shit was way more expensive than like it started getting more affordable as the ridiculous vehicles came out because they were making it out of cheaper plastic and shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that that thing was way more than a hundred dollars. Like it wouldn't be worth the shelf space that it took up at the store mm. for a hundred dollars. There's there's an old one, but look, it's just pieces. Um, they want two hundred and twenty four dollars for it. Comes with only only with the crane clips and hook. And see, so you can buy all these. So I wonder, see how they're selling all the parts. So does yeah, that you mean can... you could only buy the carrier? Then you would have to buy the parts separately to build it up. That's I think wild. it all came in one box originally. It's just probably yeah. hard to find. I mean, if they're yeah, anything complete. like me, they just they just broke or lost most of the little pieces that made up these things. You yeah, know? look at all the parts. Four hundred bucks. Yeah. Wow. And do you remember the name of your pl the plane? Do you know what it was called? Um. I, well, I put I put a well that one picture. What? Let's see, what was it? I can't remember. Doesn't matter too much. Let's see if we could find it. Combat. I just look up fighter jet. Uh, Striker XP. Uh, I think is the name of it. Twenty one F. Found it. Yeah. Yep, you can get it for on average it's one hundred and fifty bucks. Um, here's one for three hundred and seventy four dollars. Captain Ace Combat Jet. Yeah. Pivot like, S with wings. Buy yeah, I think the or, the original one came with that weird looking. Uh, uh, there was like a weird looking, almost astronaut looking guy with it. Uh, there was, there were so many fucking GI Joe toys. It was ridiculous. It's like um, a smaller version. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they made they made a lot of models of them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was like by far <laughs> the most popular toy. I think, I think uh, Duke, uh, the main GI Joe, in the cartoons. I don't I don't know about the comics, but the in the cartoons, Duke he flew that fucking thing like on the regular if i'm not mistaken so that was that was a big big toy to get all right and because it's always mandatory when on a live stream talking about gi joe that we play some of the old fensler film psa's remixes <laughs> I will Body link massage. Yes, let's let we'll do a few. We'll do our favorites, of course. This first fire alarm. I'll put in on air links, and I'll just tell you which ones I'm playing from the playlist. If you want to follow along, guys. All right, let's do fire alarm first. It's number nineteen. It should come straight up anyway for you. And three, two, one, let's go. Bet you won't touch that button, bitch. Check it out. Hey, guys. Uh, you know, it's funny. These people, they go to sleep. They think everything's fine, everything's good. They wake up the next day and they're on fire. G.I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, their voice is so good. So catchy. So catchy. All right, you want a body massage? I think that's right at the top. It's number three. All right, let's go. In three, two, one. Body massage. Come here, check out that thing, eh? What do you want to do with it? Let's launch over it. Let's launch over it. <laughs> Who wants a body massage? Uh, what did he just say to us? The bottom massage machine. Go. Uh, what the hell? Bottom massage. <laughs> <laughs> and then pork chop sandwiches. Of course, is the last one, which is number seven. If you want to watch this, uh, old school internet. It's it's like when YouTube first came out. Um, yeah, mate. Yeah, I would recommend these if you haven't seen them. Shame on you if you haven't. 
I will uh, link the playlist. Oh, this is the best one. Yeah, <laughs> everybody thinks one. pork chop sandwiches is the best. You know, cooking. <laughs> yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. Pork chop sandwiches. Oh shit! Get the fuck out of here! What are you doing? Go! Get the fuck out of here, you stupid idiot! Fuck! We're all dead! Get the fuck out! My God, did that smell good? Detective, <laughs> there's no going, and you tell me do things. I done running. <laughs> GI Joe. Uh. That's so good. So yeah, I think at the end of every episode, they had a PSA about, you know, don't cook on stoves and watch out for thin ice and don't go skating on it. All these sort of, and so someone remix them or Fensler remix them. Um, yeah. And they're pretty funny. They're pretty funny. You, you do want to watch them. They are, they're all, <laughs> there's some real good ones. There's even, there's <laughs> ones that I, I like. I love um, Skier. Don't touch the stick. Oh. All right, but we don't want to. We, 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 we might play some of them. We might get. That, that, that's a that's a rabbit hole that you can spend hours on. That's for yeah. Sure. That's it. That's it. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh well. Um, yeah, but anything else? Did you, you guys want to talk about? Yeah. Did you guys uh, go over Transformers? No. No, I was going to, so, um, what do I have to show with Transformers? I don't think I pulled anything up. I do have a picture. I'll just put up the pictures. What did you want to tell us about Transformers, though, Normie? Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't have any pictures. I mean, I, I abandoned my toys decades ago, but, and, and they weren't in, they weren't in any shape to, to show on stream. <laughs> Probably looked even worse than... Then stretches fingernail polish fucking Hot Wheels car, but the um, uh, it, just like the original Transformers, you know, I just you know got kind of a nostalgia thing when when we were talking about them the other day, and uh, you know like how quality, even though they were just Japanese imports that were from a completely different fucking thing than what Transformers ended up being. Um, you know, the, the weird thing about Transformers, I don't know if you know this, but uh, at least Generation 1, the toys, those were those were all toys that were from completely on? different shows or whatever mm. from Japan. Like, the reason that they never, they, they didn't scale at all with each other, like, particularly the vehicles. Like, you, you fold up Optimus Prime and put them next to Bumblebee. Yeah, they didn't come anywhere close to scaling with each other. <laughs> But, yeah, yeah. But that was because there were a bunch of transform. It was kind of a craze over in Japan where everyone was making like their own transforming toys. You know, they had their comics or their their uh, cartoons or or shows that went along with them and shit. But they were all different. They were all different companies that were making them. And uh, I can't remember who had. I think it was Hasbro or Mattel, whichever one had transformers license they just bought the rights to all of them to release them in the united states under the transformers name yeah 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 because it's but then what was the cartoon and all of that yeah the i mean the cartoon was just made by the toy company uh, uh, whoever it was Mat mattel and hasbro and shit like that see i remember so, this picture that's on the back of these dinobots and that's what they had on the chip packet because you could buy these mm -hmm. like uh, there were a cross between a twisty and a burger ring. Um, really good, actually. And they had that picture. I remember eating those. Yeah. So which Transformers... These are the ones I always wanted the Dinobots. I never owned any Dinobots, but these are the ones I wanted, and that's why I pulled up this video. Um, yeah. I, I, mean... I had um, Hot Rod. It was a mix of Hot Rod. You know in the movie where Hot Rod gets becomes Prime? I had mm -hmm. that, and I had... Uh, I can't even remember. Yeah. No, I had a few others, but I can't really remember. Yeah, so what did you have? Yeah, I mean, I, I had, like, all the main ones from Generation 1. I think Dinobots were, like, Generation 2 or 3. Yeah, yeah. Like if, they it, were a if, bit further if, on, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, by that time, they were able to commission their own toys. <laughs> but, mm. like, the... the uh, 
they they still used a lot of the diecast metal on them, you know, at that point still. Yeah. Um, well, still what very, I... fairly quality uh, toys. How come they didn't uh, join together? I thought all the Dinobots joined together to make one large. No, 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 no. You're, you're thinking didn't. of, like, the Destructicon. Uh, yeah. Destructicons. Because um, my neighbor those... had the Destructicons all joined together in his bedroom. It was fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah, I had that. I had that set. You know, the the, the bad part was the detail on each individual toy was kind of shit. You know, it's like you had it was to like put green and on? purple. You had to put well, the stickers like on yourself as well. Yeah, and it, and it was all it was literally all plastic too. Mm. Um, <clears throat> and, and another set that I had like a large set, other than the the Destructicon, was the uh, there was a uh, I can't remember his name. But there was a space shuttle, or not a space shuttle, a, uh, a a rocket with a train that transformed into one giant fucking robot. And uh, what the hell was his name? Hang on, let me let me see if I can look it up. Um, well, I'll find the I'll find the original Destructicons. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, Transformers. D. Omega Supreme is the thing that I'm is the thing that I'm thinking of, and uh, uh, yeah, it, he was he was a rather large toy as well. Mm, that's him there, Devastator, uh, where they all twined it. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, de toy. So yeah, you would clip them all together. So all of these ones would clip together to make this massive large one. Yeah. Um, now, some now when they were when they were assembled as Devastator, it was, it was a pretty cool toy. I mean, yeah. it, you, you couldn't do mu you couldn't do much with it because you know he, he wasn't that like rigid or anything, or he wasn't that you know he'd, he'd probably start falling apart if he tried to roughly play with them. Mm. But. Uh, yeah, I showed in the video before I found an old head, which was the main head that went on one of the bigger ones. But he, mm -hmm. yeah, because my brother would have owned one of the pieces or one of the Transformers that then became another one. Right. Mm. Here's like a weird that, version. Jesus. Yeah, that one looks way more detailed. That one looks pretty cool. Yeah, it, I don't think that would be original series. Um, he certainly looks... I would say the original one is probably that. Mm. Yeah, that would be original. That more, looks more like what he, they used to look like. Very simple. They had a gun that went in the hands. You would pop mm -hmm. the big hands in and pop the big head in, and that big purple yeah. bit. That and the gun would all be pop. It would all come with one of the transformers. Yeah, the the main parts of the toys, you know, like other than the tires and shit, were <laughs> the plastic was either was either that neon green or purple. You know, and it was like it didn't make sense. You'd never see, you'd never see <laughs> constructions, construction vehicles that that color. So, yeah, was, uh, but that's the one I remember all joining together. I can't remember the other ones. Oh, there was the one. Yes, yeah, so I think one of my friends had this one that loads into a, it turns into a camera. Mm -hmm. And there was uh, the one that with the vocoder voice, where you put tapes in, and the tapes would then turn into Ravager and all of the little dog in that. Oh yeah, that was Soundwave. Soundwave, yeah. Wave, yeah. yeah, he he was Gen One, and another one that proved the scaling thing. Like I think him and Megatron came from the same Japanese toy line, uh, because they kind of scale with each other. Mm. You know, as Megatron was the gun, and he was the the little boombox. Um, uh, that that makes sense. But then you know you've got like star scream and and fucking uh, uh uh optimus prime i think they were pro possibly from the same toy line as each other mm. but there then you've go. got like all the all the little plastic ones like Bum bumblebee and shit um you know the the smaller car vehicles like they had some they had some cars that scaled with uh optimus prime but then they yeah. had these smaller ones 
And the smaller ones were kind of like your entry level. Like you were talking about how the, the Smurfs or whatever, uh, you know, you'd, you'd go in or G.I. Joe's even, uh, you could buy the characters like real cheap. Well, Transformers weren't real cheap. Then they were pretty much their own play sets. Yeah, but, yeah. But the um, but they did have entry level transformers. I remember going into uh, we have a local grocery store chain called Kroger here. You could go in and you could buy a, a small plastic transformer with no box. Like they didn't have a box. They came in a bag with the with the instructions and the toy, and that's it. It was like a clear plastic bag. And but they were legitimate transformers, and. Uh, you could buy them for like two or three bucks, you know, which was, you know, it was still nothing back then compared to what the regular Transformers, which were, I, I think, a standard Transformer like Optimus Prime. If I remember, it was like twenty-five or thirty bucks, and um, uh, some of the other Transformers like Soundwave, I think he was like twenty bucks. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, I'm trying to find the one I used was... to have, but I can't find it. There's so many generations of them now, and then so oh, many yeah. knockoffs. Like I see them at the cons all the time, where they're a lot mm. more detailed than that, but and they're bought out from Japan. Um, right. But I don't know. I just like the original. It, like if it, uh, I, you know, I didn't fall in love with the new style. I fell in love with them when I was a kid. So that's the ones I really would want to get as the originals. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean they they were the they were the worst ones to try and keep together too cuz cuz um you know I think I was talking about it the other day the uh a lot of them had hands like like the toy companies that made them from Japan they they couldn't figure out how to implement the hands into the transforming uh sometimes even the heads if i remember right sometimes even the heads didn't make it into the transformed version so no you'd, you'd have, have to put the head on yeah yeah, you would have to keep all these little extra parts when you were playing with it as the vehicle or whatever the fuck it was. Uh, yeah, and that shit just didn't happen. So this is but, Orson Welles. What was he called? A Destroyer of Worlds dude from the movie? And he's voiced uh, by Orson Welles just right before he died. Yeah. Um, but who was uh, playing with him? It was uh, Hint of Shrimp used to, used to play with this guy when he was 11. Jesus Christ. That is huge. Yeah. Uh, here, here's another big one that I had. Um, here's his... His... Uh, it's like a little tank on a train track, which I don't really get. Um, and, a, and a rocket. And then... It's amazing to then, think that you would actually transform into that. God, that would break easily. Yeah, That's and then cool. he transforms into this giant fucking robot. It's a Mega Supreme. Oh, I remember seeing this in, like, toy catalogs. Yeah. Oh, my friend had this. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I remember seeing... Yeah. I don't know which friend, but I know someone had it because I remember playing with it once. <laughs> and I went to a friend's yeah, house. Like, oh, my God, you got this? Yeah, it was like <laughs> such a crappy toy, like the flimsiest plastic, and like yeah, it was all plastic at that point. And it was, I mean, it was still cool because it was it was huge. I mean, it was a good two feet tall, I want to say, a foot mm -hmm. and a half, two feet tall. But it it was uh, um, it was just kind of flimsy. Uh, one of the coolest things that they that they released as a transformer, I never had. But there was a uh, a Gundam that was released as a Transformer, and that was another one of the uh, Japanese. There was a uh, uh, another one of the uh, Japanese toys transformed into a Transformer. Um, uh, I'm trying to remember what the hell the I'm name. I'm just going to mention the chat. See this little sticker here? That's how you knew you had an official Transformer. Doesn't look mm -hmm. like much, but what you would do is rub it, and with heat, it would change color. And it would light up. Yeah, and it would be the either the Decepticons or Autobot logo. Yes, it'd be one of those heat stickers. Now, what uh, did um Liz? We don't want to forget Liz. She did pop a link in chat. I just want to see what it is. No, nah, forget Liz. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, someone popped uh, links in chat the other day as well, so I'll have to. I'll get around to showing everything. It's all good. It's all good. Captain America, First Avenger action figures. Uh, Liz, if you want to jump on, um, then no, I'll just get them waiting. Otherwise, I will show them in a while. Don't do that to me. Whatever. We're nice here. So I wonder what Transformers are now worth. Like, original series. Um, when, when I used to do the, um, when I used to do, like, in-home sales, I used to, you know, go to people's houses and, and like, kind of what I do now, but I also do the install now, but I used to do it for, like, a, like a big company. Mm. Uh, where I'd, where I'd go in and I'd measure shit. Uh, this dude had his entire basement was nothing but transformers like no no go bots no legos no gi joes the whole fucking basement was nothing but transformers mostly unopened too none of these are original they all say original but they're not like look at this this is from the movie yeah horrible horrible, uh, horrible. I'm, I'm trying to remember what the fuck the name of that oh here he is is this it so if we put Gen 1... Oh, wow, this one was Jet, worth 1,800. Jetfire. That's that's the guy I'm thinking of. Yeah, that, that guy was so fucking cool. I remember I remember seeing him as a kid, and I was like, holy shit, that is the coolest transformer. Gen 1, and Jetfire that, with armor and gun. Three, yeah, I, I never had... I never had Jetfire, but he was the coolest looking Transformer on the planet. Mm. Uh, Liz is in the waiting room. Speaking of toys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pull it yeah. in a second. Don't wanna not talk about it. She gonna show her dildo collection? Don't I? I've got her link up. I'll pull her in. Uh, was there anything else you wanna show us normally with Transformers? No, no, I'm good. Uh, I'll I'll let you uh, get all autistic with Liz. I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce. We're gonna be streaming over on Bitwave, uh, doing a movie night here sometime around midnight. Awesome. Can you post a link? Um, I know pretty much know what it's gonna be. It's like Bitwave TV forward slash Normie, is it? Uh, it's just old angry Normie. Yeah. Can you do you want to type it in on air links and so I can share it out right at the end? Because I'm going to try and end this stream right at the right moment. So, sure. We're all good. Yeah, no worries. Awesome. Um, all right. Uh, yeah, have a good one, guys. And thanks for yeah, letting me get let me get autistic with you. No problems. Yeah. All right. For sure. Next, Later. let's bring in Liz and see what she's got to say. That's good. We won't actually get through everything I wanted to today, which is actually a good thing. Because people are... I'd rather have people... How's it going? Like, How's it going, Liz? What's done? Pretty good. That's all good. And what did you have to show us today? So with the original, or the first Captain America movie, I went and bought all of the toys for that particular line, except for the bust. Oh, okay, yep. I've got it here. So, do you have the Hot Toys, though? They would have been the pretty expensive. Hot Toys. Do you know what Hot mm, Toys are? I don't think so. They would be more expensive than the Bass, trust me. Oh, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, it's like a... So, Hot Toys are like a, um, a scaled version of from the movie. So, I have Rocket and Groot, Gamora... Uh, War Machine from Iron Man 2 and some other ones. I'm not showing them today because I was going to do action figures another time because I knew we'd got lots to talk about. I'll show you what I mean Sick. though. So if we go Hot Toys um, Captain America I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, so you, you, you like, they've actually used so in Star Wars, right, the new poster, the new movie poster for Rise of Skywalker has uh, Emperor, T Emperor Palpatine up the top in the movie poster. I'll show you what I mean. Um, Oof. But it's actually from the Hot Toys, and they've done that a few times on actual official movie posters. 
they've used Hot Toys as the reference picture in a movie poster. Wow. Because that's how detailed they are. Skywalker. Hot Toy. Let's see. Yeah, Star Wars 9's Palpatine is a toy, not from the movie. Let's see if we can find the images of it. Yeah, so that's a picture of the hot toy of Palpatine. And they just used that as a reference for the movie new movie poster. Because it's so detailed. <laughs> wow. But yeah, they're like um full Yeah, here we go here. So there's the toy. And they've done it a few times. And then they cross referenced it, obviously. Because you would think that these are actual pictures of people walking around, but they're not. They're from the Hot Toys. So if we go to the Hot Toys, yeah, you'll see uh, that it ac they're pretty detailed. Pretty detailed. Um, so you want the one from the first... Which one's the first movie? That would be the first movie there. By the look of it. And they come with different heads, different shields, different weapons, different hands. Probably a different helmet, depending on what happened in the movie as well. And it's always 1 16th scale. And the the actual uh, clothing that he's wearing is all made out of material and stuff. So yeah. And it comes with a stand, so you can put them up in poses. I'll show mine in, in a future stream, just so you, you can see them. That's um, sick. Yeah, but, the, uh, yeah, there's all the bits, all the hands and different guns. So this is, yeah, this is from the first movie. There you go. That's the first movie, Hot Toy, with his stand and everything. I want it, but it's too expensive. Hmm. Yeah, there's all the I bits. I want it. Yeah, so you can see the, the level of detail is oh, yeah. pretty amazing. And then they actually, the fact that... Because they don't get, you know, the publisher for the movie poster might not get a, any reference material from the actual s set, from the movie set. So they'll use the hot toys because that's usually been, they've usually been released and started to get designed on early. So they'll use the hot toys in the actual bloody movie posters because, they're pretty, you know, no one can tell the difference from far back anyway. And then they just touch it up, of course. So, yeah. Pretty cool stuff, so... Yeah, that's pretty awesome. It is. It is. It made you jealous. And, of course, the bust would be pretty detailed as well, but doesn't move. So the hot toys you can pose in any position. Well, the um, busts are just a statue. So you own every single one of these, is that what you're saying? Of these Correct. Captain America? Correct. The only thing I don't have is the bust. So you got the green... <laughs> You've got a green Captain America? Where he's shiny? Mm -hmm. So th jungle trooper Captain America. Oh, look at this guy! Look at this guy. He he doesn't want arms anymore. He said, "Nah, I don't need arms or hands. Hands are not for me. You know what I need? I need two massive guns or flamethrowers instead of hands. Cause why not? <laughs> That's so cool." <laughs> Yeah, I have to go with this because uh, all of my stuff is boxed up and put in storage. So it's not like I'm going to go and pick, ah. pick everything out. Yeah, so how many different Captain Americas are there then? How many do you, would you say you have? The different versions Ooh. of just Captain America? Like at least 10? <laughs> More than that. <laughs> well, what's the guess? What do you reckon? If I include, like, the Funko Pops and the other st statues or whatever you want to call them, I've got at least maybe between 30 and 40. There you go. Oh, so you've got the Funko Pops as well. I've got a lot of them, yeah. Yeah, everybody does. Everybody does. They're a bit, uh, so, and it's, uh, Funko now owns Kenner as well. I've shown them, but here's some... There's just so many different types, so they just make anything a bloody Funko these days. I mean, what the fuck is that? Um, a Ghost Rider Venom? Okay. 
It's just like the fact that any comic book store owner or co a toy store owner that has to that signed up for Funko will tell you. And you go to comic cons as well, and you'll see them. They take up a whole wall of a convention. Just a whole wall yeah. is one shop just selling Funko Pops because there's just so many. There's just so many of them. Like, and I've got a rare one that's discontinued, and I would I couldn't even sell it. I thought oh, I'll try and sell it. It was uh, Silent Bob from Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back. This dude's jaws eating a person. Uh, imagine how many Batman Funko Pops there are as well. Ridiculous. How many different um, Captain America Funko Pops are there? There must be a few different ones of that, of just him. Let's have a look. And guess how much they'll be worth in like 10 years time. Same they're worth now. Nothing. But they're cool. You know, they're good to have on your desk or put up on a shelf. I do get the... I, I do understand the, um... The appeal. Look at them all. Yeah, I've got a, I've got maybe... Eight or nine of the punk, different Funko Pop. <laughs> of just Captain America. Do you have Captain America Snow? Snowman? He's a pre-order only. I don't have that one, no. Oh. But now I want it, now that I've seen it. <laughs> well, pre-order now. That's the fucking coolest thing I've ever seen. Crossbones. That's awesome. That's a happy one. That's that's a Funko, but not a Funko Pop. Then there's the mini keychain version. There's a gold version. I think I have the gold so version. Many, I just don't know where it is. So many of them. Ah, oh, yeah. You could overload your whole life with Funko Pops. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll show you some Hot Toys, though. Um, as a reference. The difference between what Hot Toys are like and what um, Funko Pops So These are some of the Hot Toys. There's Deadpool. Yeah. Oh, they got an Elite Battle Angel one. Oh, Captain Marvel, of course. Yeah. Oh, Stanley. Oh, that's cool. That's an exclusive one, too. That'd be worth a bit. Yeah, so always keep the box if you do buy a, a hot toy. Yeah. Because you can, um, you can sell them. But I'll show you the ones I've... I can show you just quickly one of the ones I've got. I've got yeah, um, I, I put a pick of my favorite one in there, though. And it's not a fun, It's not one of those on the collection for that first link I sent. Ah, whoops. But it's really weird and it's hysterical. So I've got them from the first movie, so... It's going to be this one. This is the one I'll have. No, that's a statue. God damn it. There we go. That's him there. Rocket and Groot. And you get a Dang. little free tree. Yeah, so I just pre-ordered it. That's it. If you really want to buy this stuff, look for a place that takes pre- Like that, and you can get- Because they release- They tell you they're going to release them like a year or even two years in advance. So this can When it gets finally dropped, it's way after the movie's finished. It's like the movie would have been even out on DVD and just done. Like It's like ages after when they finally come out. So you've got, if you really want them, you've got a full year to pay it off. And I paid $15 a week and I got both Rocket and Groot. And I was and I was like, oh wow, I, can't, I didn't even remember, I totally forgot I was paying for that. So it's a good way to get, get this sort of size toys. Because you just pay a few bucks a week, over a year or two, you hardly even notice... I didn't even notice, and then you get all of a sudden one day, it comes. They come out, and then you put them down at your friend's house. He's got them set up, and I've totally forgotten about actually going down there and picking them up. I mean, oh, then they then they look really good in your cabinet, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Ah, anything else you wanted to show us, Liz? I did have a few other. Things. Uh, I put a a link in the on air uh, area. For my favorite to America Captain America toy I have. Oh, you got a samurai. That's yep. pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Let's have a look. 
got a few more little things to show. There we go. That is pretty cool. I do like him. Go away. Yeah. Oh, you can zoom over him. It's like the Ninja Batman. Um, You can get really cool from the anime they just bought out of Ninja Batman. I think really that's cool uh, from the same now. toy line. Oh, is it Coco? I think so. Oh, I'm not sure. That's pretty cool, though. That is yeah, I haven't cool. taken it out of the box or anything, so... Oh, you always... With toys, you can't... I mean, then... Yeah, it's once you take them out of the box, they're not going to be worth as much, but... I always do with most of my toys. I won't with... Um, with statues. The good... Th See, this is what's so good about statues. See, with toys, you take them out of the box, you rip it all apart, it's done. Statue, it's in polystyrene, you take it out of the box... And it's just one piece or two pieces. You connect it together. You put it in your cabinet. And as long as you don't break it, it's still worth exactly the same amount when you put it back in the box. It's worth the exact same amount as the day you purchased it. If not more. If it goes out of stock or whatever. So it's definitely worth... Um, if you want to display collectible sort of stuff, go for statues instead of toys. Um, yes, they cost a lot more. I know the new artifacts because now they're, they're changing it, the 3D printing style and they're not hand painted and you can get artifact stuff which is a lot cheaper. So, Alrighty. So that's, um, that's all I had to show. Okay, cool. Well, thank you for coming on and showing thank us you for having me. Alright, one or two more things and then we are going to wrap it up because uh, in about five or so minutes... They're going, uh, this, the Clockwork Orange, I think it is, is starting on, um, Bitwave with Normie's channel. Ah, here I got Walter White <laughs> and Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad. Thought I would just show you that. There's Jason Voorhees. There's not much else there. There was one other thing that someone else popped in my chat. I did want to show them. There were Chia chia poos or pups or something like that here's one it's like a little robot dog do you know anything about these stretch up oh. what these robot dogs poochie they're called poochies no oh yeah, yeah, yeah. vaguely okay i'm guessing they would pick up the bone in that and then i found some old he-man Action figures. I think that was during <laughs> the age of like Tamagotchis and shit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I did want to. Um, we. I was going to go into Ninja Turtles and all that, but we can leave that for another time. Um, there was some old Kenner stuff that I was going to show. I might not have it up. Here we go. So the uh, Funko now owns Kenner, and this is what Kenner Kenner makes all sorts of different toys from yesteryear. Um, Ghostbusters, Nintendo action figures. Well, there you go. Learn something new. Jurassic Park, Predator, Mega Man Two, Justice League, Aliens. I have some of those Aliens uh, figures. Yeah. Star Wars was made by Kenner, of course. The Batman animated series. Good old star. Oh man, that would be so cool if I had all those. Yeah, I've got one of the. I've got that Ghostbuster somewhere. Probably not anymore. Who knows? If it, he's still around. Mask. So look at all these different toys. So cool. So cool. Oh, animated Batman toys. Yeah, cool. yeah. I've got a few of those. Terminator Two. Uh, pre the different aliens you could get. There was, like, snake aliens, and... Oh, there's an alien here. Did you watch the anime Batman? Have you ever seen that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a great where series. The one I... where fucking, like, Joker takes them back in time and shit? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, well, there's the TV series, and then there's all the movies as well, and they still make the movies. Batman Hush just whatever, came out. Same voice actors. Yeah, whatever the Batman. yeah. Batman vs. Ninja Turtles just came out. Brilliant movie. You can watch it free on YouTube in different parts. So they're still bringing them all out. Still the same voice actors for most of them. Sometimes they change them up. But still definitely worth watching. And the, t the original TV series, yeah. 
I play them on Bitwave all the time, all the new ones since they come out. Oh, here's the Ewok I had. I had this Ewok. I had the original one. The Emperor Ewok. I fucked him up with a rock too. Oh, well, uh, we are going to wrap up, though. I don't think I had anything else, really, to show. We can... We're gonna... We'll come back to toys. Because there's so many different things. You could talk all day about it. Um, yeah. Anything else we had to show? I think we're all good. Make sure you head over to Bitwave. You, now, we've got a few... Since uh, the great advertising that was on a certain channel a few weeks ago, we've had some um, we've had some new people on Bitwave. And Stretch, you were one of those people. What do you I've think about there. Bitwave, Stretch? Is it your I don't know. Why didn't you yell at Liz when she was here? Because she talking doesn't shit want to about go to Bitwave. Bitwave. Because she doesn't want to go to Bitwave. Some people uh, uh. describe it as a dark cloud because they've never been there, but they've heard things from other people that have never been there, and so they just have some I mean, sort of weird impression. It's not like some scary place, but it is heavily <laughs> autistic. It is heavily autistic, and that's the thing. I think there, it's definitely, it is definite, um, because people keep attacking me for, like, mentioning it and stuff. It's like, okay, fair enough. Because I just say, <laughs> hey, Bitwave's pretty cool. Oh, rah, rah, rah. And then all of a sudden people enter themselves in the conversation. So, yeah, I get it, man. But, um, it's not really the scary place. As we keep saying, you do not have to enter any of your personal info. You can go as a troll. If you're worried about your IP, well, then, like, don't go to Bitwave, whatever. Just log off the internet, for fuck's sakes. Um... Or, or have a VPN. <laughs> you can use a fake email to make an account as well. It's just an identifier. But yeah, head over to Bitwave and watch Normie and all of that. Uh, I think we are all done. Anything else you had to say? Stretch? Uh, fuck you, chat. Not a dark cloud. <laughs> well, we have been your hosts. I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun. We'll we'll go back into more toys um, over the next few weeks. I don't know. I, I don't know what we're doing week to week. I we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Fuck it. Dildo stream next stream. Oh, cool. Go Live on, Liz. Now. Show us your dildo collection. <laughs> All right. I need a song to play us <laughs> out. <laughs> Just play that, for fuck's sake. See ya! Wait. Of course, of course, this new fucking YouTube. Ever since the Windows updated, I can't bloody... It won't let me touch the screen sometimes. Did you see that? It comes up with this weird thing. There we go! Mm. Now I'll see you later. I'll drop the link in chat if I haven't done so already. Make sure you go to Bitwave. See ya!
Yeah, fuck Norman.